it is visible okay my name is emi sharawani and now we are going uh, to have a presentation of nationalism through the lens of tagore this is my personal information and uh, who is ravindranath tagore uh, in many previous uh, presentations we have seen uh, many sides of tagore and uh, now i uh, wanted to make a point that if we want to know about the nationalism views of uh, tagore we have to uh, go through first his philosophy and how he has contributed to the uh, various fields of like uh, he was composer poet uh, he was he has written so many uh, works and uh, he was he, majorly he was uh, uh, writing in the bangla and then it got uh, translated into english and then he get uh, he got fame uh, into west even uh, into the world the literary and artistic genius of tagore which spanned over six decades is nothing but a reflection of a sensitive artist a sympathetic man of letters uh, uh, he has uh, written uh, many letters and i have just uh, cited these letters in my presentation so we can have glimpse, uh, glimpses of that letters even a, pro a profound thinker and a strategic experimentalist experimentalist uh, i can remember uh, his uh, institution which was uh, working under the name of shantini ketan and in that uh, he was uh, he was he has brought a uh, new education system at that time it uh, it may be considered a false promise if someone assures to introduce him uh, introduce in brief his uh, all encompassing intellectual engagements therefore an introduction of tagore's thought provoking uh, thought provoking perception of indian nationalism focusing the very soul of his intellectual deliberation uh, in the research work of sandeep kharvi he has he has written introduction the diverse cultures religions and languages that com uh, comprised the indian subcontinent uh, is in direct contrast to the european model of nationalism which acknowledged the existence of one religion one language or one eth uh, ethnicity it is evident that in, uh, individuals relate uh, themselves with a piece uh, of land that they live and revere the same uh, tangible pr uh, proposition by putting it on the high pedestal uh further in my presentation we will get to know that how pat uh, patriotism and nationalism is uh, different itself into them uh and now uh, as uh, sandeep has uh, claim in his research work that we have in india we have the diverse cultures religions and languages so uh, it is an obvious thing that it will be a very contrasting to the european mo uh, model of nationalism because european model of nationalism is under the uh, columns of like uh, one uh, language one religion and one ethnicity the ghare bahire and uh, gora these two works are very uh, familiar when we want to get to know about the national nationalism view a uh, nationalistic view of tagore the home and the world uh, tagore writings uh, illustrate the realistic uh, portions of ordinary life meticulously and uh, exhaustively he is the home and the world is an uh, exemplary work that showcases the transformation of a woman uh, as i have mentioned in uh, his introductory part that he was a experimentalist so uh, every work he was uh, getting influenced or getting a um, patient to re uh, write the works which can be uh, helpful to the social political atmosphere uh, uh, which was Uh, in india at that time in uh, 20th century bimla who was content uh, to confine herself to a family to get along as a propagator of patriotism this characterization is a wonderful illustration of uh, of the element of nationalism through her pat uh, pat portrayal in the novel uh, tagore has very intelligently portrayed uh, her character in the novel uh, to portray nationalism and uh, uh, patriotism and to make the difference between them by the character of sandeep and uh, bimla through his writings tagore fiercely criticizes the practices that uh, derogate people with a tag of nationalism uh, we can get to know that nowadays or we can say in contemporary time nationalism is under the uh, influence of a very negative term we can say because uh, in nationalism uh, it is not 
allowed in the tagger tagger's view that it can be the tag of derogate people his characters are dep depicted uh, compactly and come across deftly to manifest the concentrates and imperfections within the context of its setup his works majorly explores the sense of humanity and empowers the ostrac uh, ostracized sections and their rights in family and society uh, we know that in 20th century when uh, tagore was in the uh, time at that time there was the sectarianism was existed and it has get influenced in literature in every aspect of so, uh, society Uh, by the research work of uh, sandeep kharvi i i uh, mention i just uh, able to mention my uh, points under the uh, comparison with, between the gandhi's thought and tagore's thought tagore believed in life of reasoning as he was the main of reasoning amartya sen amartya sen is a, a mainly economist but he is contributed uh, many um, many things in philosophy even uh, he is claiming the same rights Tagore greatly admired Gandhi, but he had many disagreements, including nationalism, the role of rationality and of science, and the nature of economy, economic and social development. These differences, with Tagore pressing for more room for reasoning and for a less uh, traditionalist view, as uh, we have seen that uh, he was the man of. Uh, we can say he is. He was the liberal man. Uh, who was believing that if we want to uh, develop india indian philosophy or indian india as a country we have to uh, learn so many things uh, of by the side of western world even as he was uh, not allowing the tra tra traditionalist view in the kind, kind of uh, field of science and rationality uh, when we uh, come when we go to the uh, free uh, tagore's view about the freedom he has written the uh, very well, uh, renowned work uh, that is gitanjali and he has won the award for that even and in that he has uh, written this verse that where is uh, where, where the mind is without fear and the head is held high into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake uh when we think about the uh, freedom of uh, freedom of india or independence of india we uh, came to know first in our mind that gandhi and tagore these two people were uh, very uh, on the first row uh, when india get uh, india was getting the freedom and uh, at that time gandhi was uh, uh, walking on the path of uh, uh, he was boycotting or we can say avoiding these foreign goods and all those things he was just uh, he was not doing uh, things by the uh, violently but the tagore was one that who was expecting the freedom by the non violently as well as accepting the uh, good things about western world uh, when we go to the religion view of tagore that uh, in his gitanjali work he has mentioned leave this chanting and singing of telling of beads a uh, womb does thou for she he is uh, there where the tilling uh, tiller is tilling he is with them in sun and in shower and his garment is covered with dust he was one who is who was believing in the god uh, and i uh, feel, i feel that he he was uh, something uh, somewhere um, inspired by the transcendentalism movement because he is claiming that uh, how one can worship and how uh, god is existing in the world again amartya sen emphasizing acceptance of uh, tagore by people of other religion region and religion rights uh, that muslim citizens of bangladesh had a deep sense of identity with tagore and his ideas nor from choosing one of tagore's songs tagore's own description of his bengali family as a product of a confluence of three cultures hindu mohammedan and british tagore believed that india does not need to be insecure that uh, and that it does not have the to protect itself against any force from outside because we know we are having this uh, uh, multi diversities in uh, our uh, country so it is india was fighting each other into uh, itself so he is the, he was one to intellectually th thinker that it, india what need india to be independent 
what is nationalism uh, now we are going to uh, see the, what is the difference of nationalism and patriotism that is uh, i have uh, taken this uh, both the definition in oxford dictionary the uh, nationalism the desire by a group of people who share the sa same race culture language etc to form an independent country a feeling of love for and pride in your country a feeling that your country is better than any other country so nationalism comes with the feeling of the group of people and uh, when we go to the patriotic it is saying that having or expressing a great love of your country that is as an adjective and as a noun we see that a person who loves their country and who is ready to defend it against an enemy so patriotic feeling is come with the individual and uh, nationalism is come with the group tagore's patriotism and nationalism uh, and in his letter uh, he has written that patriotism cannot be our final spiritual shelter my refuge is uh, humanity and i will never allow patriotism to triumph over humanity as long as i live as we know that he was the person who was promoting humanity rather than patriotism or uh, nationalism or any other thing tagore had dissimilar beliefs on nationalism compared to gandhi gandhi propagated uh, swaraj thus influencing people to be part of uh, indian freedom movement uh, the rejection of the west was the core of gandhi's ideology as i have uh, told in previous site that he was uh, the core member of the this ideology to rejection of the western goods and all those things various tagore had the different stance tagore through uh, tagore uh, though was against british administration he kept a safe distance from the idea of reject, uh, rejection on of the uh, west that uh, we can see the same thing he has portrayed in nikhil's character uh, nikhil was the uh, businessman and uh, he was thinking like uh, tagore's uh, glimpses we can uh, see in his character that he was not a uh, part uh, he was not a fully part of this rejection ideology but he was thinking about the indian people also and e economic tagore in response to the cultural nationalism which believes in ostracizing the other nation as, as danger to their own existence tagore writes whatever we understand and enjoy in becomes ours it hurts me deeply when the cry of rejection rings loud against the west in my country with a clamor that western education can only injure us he was the one that uh, he allowed the west western education system to be in india this is my work citation So Amisha, my question is that, uh, that uh, in the novel Home and the World, uh, which incidents are described Tagore's point of view uh, of nationalism? Like there is uh, incidents of Swadeshi and all those backgrounds in novel. So which which of incidents uh, prove that uh, Tagore's point of view of nationalism? Yes, in the novel, we can say that uh, when these uh, Sandeep's people come to uh, Nikhil's factory and they're just uh, making them to shut down the factory and uh, re uh, joining his, um, his movement, Swadeshi movement, and uh, stopping to use these uh, uh, Western goods and all these incidents we can consider here. And we can say when we go to the nationalism uh, point of view, uh, Tagore's, uh, Tagore has put... Uh, two characters that is sandeep and nikhil and these both the characters are contradictory within itself so uh, we can say that nikhil is uh, somewhere ha having glimpses of tagore nationalism tagore's nationalism personally and sandeep is having this uh, swadeshi movement but he was he was kind of violent in his way so uh, i cannot say that he was the uh, part, uh, side of the gandhi's uh, philosophy or uh, ideas that because because of he was violent in somewhere in the novel so yes he has uh, put the glimpses of his own idea ideas of nationalism in the characters even or in the incidents even uh, 
uh, Amisha, my uh, question is how Sandeep represent as nationalist? And the uh, second question is that can we compare Gandhi as Nikhi and uh, Sandeep as Tagore? What was the first question? How Sandeep represents as nationalist? Yes. Sandeep is a uh, kind of character uh, that uh, he was uh, searching for his own benefits rather than to, to helping uh, this movement. Uh, so it was the negative part of this uh, character. And uh, yes, he was uh, doing kind of activities uh, to be part of this Swadeshi uh, movement. And if we want to use the lens of Tagore, so we can say he was not uh, um, like uh, he was not, we cannot put uh, it character into the Tagore's nationalism, nationalistic view. Uh, we can majorly put uh, Nikhil's character in the Tagore's view rather than Sandeep. And the second question was. The Sandeep is. No, Sandeep, if we want to compare, then Sandeep will go with the uh, not neither Tagore or neither Gandhi. Because uh, uh, Tagore's view or ideas. Uh, was uh, very different from the uh, Sandeep's character. It was, we can say, if we uh, study the nation, uh, nationalistic point of views of Tagore, then we can com uh, come to know that, okay, Sandeep's uh, characteristics is not going well into that. But Nikhil's characteristic uh, is going uh, in that way. And uh, Nikhil is going with the views of Tagore. Sandeep is not going with the Gandhi or not even going with the uh, Tagore. Because he was violent in his way, that's why he is not going with the Gandhi's views. Uh, 